Hi, today I'm going to talk about window calculation in Tableau. So let's say I have a time trend related um, data. So now I have a, um, I break down the row by year and then uh, break down by quarter. Um, so now let's say we want to look at sum of cell, or we can actually bring the measure value into the text. So uh, normally when you bring the measure value, it will bring everything to the view in one column. To break down into different columns, you need to put measure name in the column shell. And then you can see the, you can see, um, the entire table view. So now I am only show, now I only want to see the cell, sum of cells in this um, table. So, um, so first of all, let's talk about, uh, I'll give you an example using lookup um, next year. So the syntax is lookup, and then I'm looking, since I have sum of cells, so that's, uh, so I'm looking for the sum of cells. And then offset means uh, how many rows or what's the partition I want to, uh, I'm searching. So I'm going to searching for next uh, row so since uh, I'm putting um, the sum of cells in the column shell. So now I create this uh, calculation and then I bring this up into the measure value. So in the second column, you will see that uh, this column is looking look up for the second row. So it's always pointing to the next uh, quarter. So in Q1, I'm looking at Q2. In Q2, I'm looking at Q3. In Q3, I'm looking uh, at Q4, so on and so forth. So this lookup function will help me to look up, uh, to look on uh, the next, uh, um, uh, you can define your own um, uh, lookup position. So two is a lookup the second quarter, or you can look up uh, also um, this, this is the, uh, you are looking look up same quarter but uh, next year so now you can you can you can maybe so for example you can create a calculation to see what is the percentage change uh, between the uh, between uh, this quarter and and, and uh, same quarter but uh, next year um, uh, the increase or other percentage uh, difference so now I go back to look up uh, next um, uh, next quarter. So um, in the window calculation, um, I um, there's another uh, function called window average. So here I'm still looking for sum of cells, for example, and then. Uh, my starting position, as you can see the prompt here. So um, my starting, my start is zero and end. Uh, let's say if I put zero, it means that um, I start with current position and end with current position. So if I drag this into the view, it will show me my, it will show. So before, I, before we actually see this um, calculation, so if we look at the sum of cell, start from zero, end with zero, that means I'm looking at my own, uh, own position. So if I drag it to the third column, you will see that everything will be identical to the first column. So now let's verify. Okay. So that means, uh, so this um, confirm our um, idea. So now let's say, um, so normally when you, want, uh, when you are looking at uh, a time trend related data, Let's say you want to see the average uh, for a rolling. Um, so this means um, I'm looking for rolling four quarter average, average of rolling four quarter. So now you can see that. Um, so this um, 121,000 is the average for all four. So you can sum them up and divide it by four to get this number. So the second row is the next um, four row, included, including itself, since we uh, we set the starting point as zero. So zero always means uh, your own row, and then look up 
three other rows. So that's the rolling uh, four quarter average. So you can verify that. Um, okay. So um, there are some other window uh, calculation, but I'm just going to talk about uh, a, a couple. Uh, you can you can you can um, see the documentation online and then uh, to to select your own uh, to select the function to fit your own purpose. So I find another um, interesting um, uh, function a uh, window calculation which is called window correlation. So uh, the syntax is same uh, window uh, underscore correlation. So now. Um, Let's say I want to see the correlation between the sum of sales and the sum of profit. So it should be very much um, positive correlated since more sell means more profit. So uh, I'm so this uh, so this syntax uh, function will need two inputs. So I have two inputs. This is um, similar to how you calculate a correlation. So you need two vectors if you are using some other programming language. So let's say I'm still going to see rolling rolling four quarter uh, uh, correlation. So I define zero, start from zero and at, at three. So now if I bring that in, so you see them, they're all correlated. So the, the reason you will see they're all one and it's because um, the format for this number is uh, standard. So if you do that, it will only uh, so now you can define how many decimal you want to see. So now I'm showing two decimal as a correlation. So how do you? So how does Tableau calculate the correlation for each um, quarter or each rolling four quarters? So this one uh, I'm looking at the sum of sales uh, versus sum of um, profit. So now let's bring this sum of profit in the second column. So let me remove um, fit uh, a fit width. Let me remove the window average. So this co uh, correlation on the first row. So basically, it's the correlation of these four number correlate with these four number so you can you can you can validate um, the function um, using some other uh, or you can just manually calculate the correlation so basically or in some other program language and you will find out the correlation between uh, some of cells for these four quarter and the correlation and uh, the prof sum of profit in for this four number and then um, equal to um, 0.92 so basically um, um, yeah I already validate this so uh, you can you can also validate yourself to make sure that you fully understand how tableau uh, or each function is calculate um, is calculated so uh, it is always a good habit to validate or to really understand the logic how tableau calculate uh, the numbers otherwise um, you might make mistakes or sometimes when people ask you it might be very difficult to explain um, okay so once again this 0 0.92 is the correlation of these these eight number here okay. so I find out so I want to talk about another um, function called um, window percentile okay. so same thing window percentile so I'm still looking sum of cells for uh, for um, illustrative purpose and then the number here is that I'm going to sh um, is to, to define uh, what the percentile you want to you want to calculate so I'm going to 50 percentile so it's 0 0.5 and uh, starting from 3 and end with uh, uh, starting from zero and with three, that means a rolling four quarter basis in a time tr in a, in, a, in a time um, time series data. Okay, so uh, window percentile. Okay. Let me remove uh, this one. Okay, 
So how um, how does Tableau calculate uh, each of these numbers? So let me remove some of profit. Okay. So the percentile of this one, uh, 50 percentile for a rolling, uh, rolling full quarter is that um, so Tableau basically is calculating the 50 percentile of these four numbers. So uh, we all know that percentile is uh, or median or 50 percentile is the median. So median is basically the middle position of these four numbers. So basically, you can validate this number by calculating um, by taking the sum of uh, this number, 86,000 and 143,000, and then the, the sum divided by two should equal to this number. And then for a rolling basis, so basically for each row, you're taking uh, these four number, second row is looking for these four number, third row looking for uh, the next four numbers. So that's um, mm, so that's the, the window percentile. So for all the window calculation or the lookup function, you will always um, uh, looking uh, doing the rolling um, doing the um, the roll I would say rolling basis. So basically, how many the um, you are included um, next uh, n numbers into your calculation. So that that's so you can validate that um, by using uh, by um, doing the calculation in different rows. So um, so here I'm using rolling four quarters. So that means I'm al always using four quarters. And then for the starting with the next uh, starting on second row, I'm looking at row two to row five. Starting from row three, I'm looking row three to row six. So uh, so on and so forth. So um, so this is all I want to talk about for window calculation. So basically, it's always a rolling basis. Uh, so since um, there's another uh, uh, point that you need to pay attention to is that uh, the Windows uh, calculation is always calculating whatever number you have in your view. So let's say if I put uh, if I put a filter for a year, and I'm looking for only 14 to 17. And then now, if you look at the lookup function, or um, let me redefine my lookup. Uh, so I'm going to look up next year, but um, um, same quarter, but next year. Or same quarter next year should have the offset offset equal to four for this one. Okay, so that means so so although um, the year after two thousand fourteen should be two thousand fifteen, but since you are using the window wheel, window view, so that a window calculation, so that means your calculation is always looking whatever number you have in the in in your view here. So that means your 2014 is um, so in here you are looking at 2017. So be very careful when using window calculation to, to pay to uh, remember that you are always looking at a number in your view, but not may not be um, uh, will may not be uh, meaningful. So uh, in order to um, let's say if you want to um, re remove the uh, 2015 and 16 from the view but you still want to make sure that your 2014 is looking at 2015 rather than 2017 then you should look you should use the level of detail to include the year even if a user filtered those uh, year uh, out from the view so that's the only thing you need to pay attention when you're using window calculation so um, thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed the video. So um, let me know if you have any comments or questions. Thank you very much.